I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a compound strength and cardio hit workout. So we'll build lean muscle, which will increase your metabolism over time, and do low impact cardio, which is going to boost your heart rate into a fat burning zone, so we'll burn lots of fat and calories during the workout. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you can help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. up, big movements, okay, swing in the arms, knees up, blood flowing, deep breaths, then bring knee up in front and twist, we have five circuits, each circuit has four compound strength moves, multiple muscles working at the same time, that gets your heart rate up, from there, forward and back here, we have a cardio blast round, and we'll do a cardio exercise, low impact, so we protect the joints for 30 seconds, and then we have a 20 second round. In that 20 second round, we're going to give it 110 percent. Reach out, and that's where we really make this a hit workout. Uh, heart rate into the fat burning zone with the compound work, boost it up with your 30 second round, boost it up even a little higher with your 20 second round. Arms out and in here. It's gonna be fun. How cool to say I have a sense of fun, right? Alright, arms up and down. I'm gonna start with my heavier weights. If you have options, this is a lower body compound move, so you can go heavier here. And have a side lunge to a deadlift. You're gonna alternate the side lunge. Step to your right first, okay? Get ready. Here we go. On the clock. Side lunge. Come on up, turn the weight, deadlift down and up, other side. In the deadlift, leave your heels, drive those hips back, and slight bend in the knees here. Now lock those knees, it's not a squat, it's not a lock knee position either. You feel that in the back of your legs, right here is going to feel a stretch, and right here they're working. Joints of your heels, it's not putting it in the right muscle area. Back of the leg there. Good. Side lunges. A lot of fun. Inner thigh, like that. Glutes. I'm going to lighten my weight. Then upper body compound here. I'm going to do a front raise to a high row. So, front raise, bring it down, high row. Here we go. Lift, controlled. And let, now think about your shoulders here. You want to keep them down. There's a tendency, I'll show you right here, to lift those shoulders into the neck. You want to help. You want to make them work in the proper position without hurting your neck. So it's a little harder to do this lift, but you're safe around your neck. Right, one more of each. Finish with me, okay? Gonna keep this weight. We're going into a deadlift. And deadlift down. We're gonna come up. Once we're up, front raise, okay? A lot going on. I'm gonna take these upper and lower moves and combine them here. Get ready. Here we go. Deadlift. Keep the heels. Drive it on up. Bunch up. Front raise. Good. The hips under you. Or this raise. Bring them up, it's underneath, and up. No lean forward in that. No lean standing right here, and do your raise. You should feel a little breathy. Heart rate is coming up. Got lots of muscles. A couple minutes into this workout, lots of muscles working. Okay. Now the side lunge. So we're taking the side lunge and the high row. So we're going to go weight on either side. As you come up, position the weight this way, pull. Okay? We'll alternate the lunges. Get ready. Three, two, to your right. Here we go. Take it over. Come on up. Pull. Get 
feel the body work. I love that. Compound, one of my favorite training techniques. I love them all. They all offer something. Fun to mix them up to. Finish this one with me, okay? Going into our cardio round. Weight is down. We want to skate. One of my favorites. Big arms. Get low if you can. Let's go to your right. Ready? Here we go. Deep breath. Go. Now this is the 30 second round. I want you to think about your form here. You're not speeding it up too much. There's a lot of movement. Bringing that heart rate up a little higher. So I love different training techniques. I don't love every exercise, but this has to be one I do like. I've always have liked skaters. It's the olden days. Old school aerobics, remember those? And rest. Alright, so now on this skater, power, speed, alright? As quickly as you can go, safely. Don't lose your balance or anything. But let's move. 20 seconds, all you've got. Ready? Here we go. Skate. Skate. Get low. Get low if you can, okay? Breathe, but hold the abs tight. 10 more seconds, come on. Feel that heart rate? I'm sure you do. It's up there. It's coming up. Good. Okay. 30 second rest. Grab some water. Stay hydrated. You want to drink water before you're thirsty. And pick up our heavier weight. You have options. I want my heavy weight some lower body. Compound. We're going to squat and stand. Once we stand, right leg back in curtsy. If you're not squatting, you can do a rear raise. Back. Not too deep. Okay, ready? Here we go. Squat and stand. Curtsy right leg. Squat and stand. Weight in your heels. Bring it up. Way back. Way back here. In the back toe. In the front heel. Most of the time, when you're doing strength work, you can wiggle your toes. Very rare that you have forward on those toes. Back on the heels because that's right under the leg, which is right under the hips. Gives you more power, more control, more balance. Good. Bicep cross press. Go ahead and grab a medium set of weights here. This is some chest work and biceps. So we're going to hold the weight here, then push across and in. Okay? Push it, feel the chest. Ready? Feel that. Bring it in. Squeeze the chest. This is an all-standing workout. Chest can be challenging when you're doing an all-standing workout. So I wanted to put this in here. Make sure we made this a total body. Total body move. Feel it? That's just upper body. There's a lot happening. Breathe it heavy. Stay with me, come on. Good. Alright, this next one's a little tricky, so follow, follow me here. We're gonna squat and stand. Once we stand, we're gonna bring the weight out, open, close, bring the weight back to the shoulders for the squat. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Squat and stand. Bring the weight forward, open, squeeze the chest, weight back. So it gets too heavy. This is a hard one. You can lighten your weight. You can do this without weight. Gravity will be your resistance. It's heavy. Feeling <laughs> in my biceps. Feeling my back. Feeling it in my chest. And that's what I wanted. That's the goal of this one. Come on, let's finish this rep. Give a rest. And <laughs> rest, too. Alright. So now we have the curtsy, and what else? We're going to do a bicep curl. So we'll take a right leg back. As you come up, we're just throwing that curl, okay? 
Deep breath. Get ready. Elbows in. Here we go. So it's curtsy down. Elbows in. Up with a curl. And down. Curl. Good. Heel it. And we'll do these strength portions. Without sweating like we do when we're going up and run really hard. That does not mean you're not getting really good work. Without running and then sweating, that's heart health. This is everything else. When your muscles are long and lean, you burn more calories in general. Not just while you're doing your workout. So that means your metabolism is high, right? Head above your heart, no weight down or picking it up. We have soccer kicks. Chop across. Go the right leg first. 30 seconds. Here we go. This is a nice stretch on that glute. We just worked in those curtsies. There's a method to that. This don't always explain it, but this is countering. Let's strike over here. Come on. And catch your breath. All right, 20 seconds. Let's move. Chop, chop, chop. As quickly as you can, don't trip yourself. Don't lose your balance. Slow it down as much as you need to. But give me all you've got, okay? Find that spot. Find that spot where you can really do a power move. Power, power. It's tight. Deep breaths. Come on. And rest. Good. All right, you are on your second rest. Grab some water. I can say that I will do it myself. Back to our lower body, compound move. We're a wide squat to a wide deadlift. Using my heavy weight, you're wide, toes are out. We're going to squat, stand. Now drive those hips back, bent knees, inch forward, and up. That's your combination. Here we go. Do the squat, coming up. Good. Inch forward. Yeah, now keep this back nice and flat here, driving the hips back. So I'm going to check that lower back. You do not want to round your back here. You want to keep the weight very close to your body. You want it out in front of you where it would pull you forward. Round your muscles in the lower body. Requiring oxygen. Big breaths happening here. And rest good. All right, I'm gonna work some triceps. So I'm going to one knee weight, forehead extension. On this one, our lower body's gonna participate. So I'm gonna throw in a side raise, okay? Get ready, here we go. Lift, lower. Think about elbows to me. And squeeze those elbows. I know they look like they're out to the side, but I'm pushing them towards you versus this, which would be out to the side, right? So focus on bringing them forward. Abs are tight. Leg is only coming up enough that you feel that oblique and glute crunch. And the back of the arms, well, they might be starting to burn. I hope they are. And if they're not, you know what I say, time to get more weight. All right, let's go to that wide squat and then we'll press to a tricep. So toes out. As we come up out of the squat, we're going to do the press. And minimize the squat with the knees bothering you. And we'll tell you, often, even if lunges and squats bother you, these wider stance moves, the knees might be okay. So give it a shot. And if it hurts, you need to just modify. Little bend. You should have to stay the paces that we're on. Take the deep bending out. Don't know why your knees are bothering you. It is possible that as we do these little activations of the muscles and start to work them, that your 
get stronger muscles around those knee joints and have more mobility. And rest. Good. Okay, I'm going to grab my medium weight. You can go heavy here. I'm going to go medium just to fit my back, which I've had some issues with. We're going wide stance. Dead lift down, but it's down one leg, up, turn the other way. Let's go to your right. Here we go. Feel the crunch, and up, turn it. So we have obliques, inner obliques, abs, and you can feel the legs, right? Working. Changing the angle a little bit, which makes this hit some of those smaller muscles. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Quads have four muscles, and squad, right? Some are larger than the others. And you tend to work the larger one more. So this kind of digs in to some of those muscles that aren't so prominent in everything that you do. All right, we are on to cardio with the cross punch. Have fun with this. I'm gonna do a rear leg lift. So it's punch with the right arm, punch with the left arm. See my leg coming up, same leg as the arm. Ready, here we go, punch it. Abs are tight, shoulders are down, okay? Bring the shoulders up. Full extension of the arm here. It's one of those times, and I want you to throw the arm out, right? And I want you to power through it, push, push. Just like that. You feeling it? We are doing a lot here today. All right, come on. And rest. All right, you ready to make that a power, super power move? And that was a power move, but let's punch, punch. Give me some speed, give me all you got, okay? Deep breath, three, two, let's go right arm. Here we go, punch, oops, I missed the beat, didn't I? A little bit, a little bit of a jump start there. Come on, punch it, punch it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel your energy kind of start to wane. That's good. That means you've given it your all. You're running out of steam. And you're bumping your heart rate up just a little bit more. Okay. One way again. This time I'm going with my heavier weight. If you have very light weights, you could double them up just like that. We're going to do a rear lunge to an oblique lean or you can do a rear leg lift to a lean. All right, we're going to do right leg movement first. Here we go, rear lunge. Come on up, oblique lean. Or leg lift, foot down, oblique lean. Perfect. Get these obliques in here. We've certainly done some work on them so far. This is a nice targeted Targeted move. Have not done oblique strength work. This is the area you might feel tomorrow. You get sore. I remember the first time I did this move. I absolutely remember. Jangling web. I want those abs video. I did those, and the next day I said, well, I'm getting those abs because I can feel it. And that's where the magic happens when you're feeling that soreness. All right, are you ready? Other side. Real life, here we go. Now, ways to not feel so sore. I mean, I want you to feel like you did a workout. I don't want you to not be able to walk up your stairs tomorrow. You want to drink lots of water. Your muscles heal with oxygenated blood. If you thin out your blood, you're very hydrated. Because we're dehydrated, it's harder for our heart to pump our blood because it's thicker. You're nice and hydrated, more nice. Oxygenated blood is going to go to these muscles today and while you sleep and you recover quicker. I'm going to finish this one because I like this move. Good. All right, trading this in for my medium dumbbell. Still haven't had to go to my lights. Kind of a bailout weight there. We're going to swing it into discus like in the Olympics. Bring it up. Crunch. Ready? Here we go. Big swing. Come on up. Knee crunch. Control it. So right here, I'm really twisting from the waist. Here, I'm coming up, squeezing the glute, and crunching the lower ab. So this is 
and your ab focused circuit. And I'm up and above him. That's good. Come on. And rest. Okay. Ready to do the other side. Nice swing with this weight. And a nice crunch. When you crunch, pull that lower ab nice and tight. Okay. Deep breath. There we go. Swing it back. Back. Up. Knee crunch. Really twist here. Twist. Do this one, come on. We're done with the circuit. Three of the five circuits. More than halfway. More far into this workout. Past halfway mark. And rest. Good. Okay. Weight is down. Catch your breath. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? We are. Four out of five circuits done. Did you catch that? All right, cardio. Let's do some hamstring curls. Remember these? Here we go. Kick your butt. Arms forward and back. I'm going to give you a way when we go to our 20 seconds to make this more intense. A little bounce if you like. I'm going to keep this low impact. If you are a runner, if you're just starting out, or if you did hit yesterday, high intensity, high impact. You want to keep it low impact. We do high impact a couple times a week. And if you're a runner, your workout should not include high impact. You're getting plenty of that out on the street or on your treadmill. All right, to make this more challenging, hands up over the head, makes the blood flow upwards. Heart has to work a little harder. Three, two, here we go. Pull, pull. Come on, rest is coming. All you've got right here. Can you hear me popping up on it? Yeah. I love it. All right. Grab your chair. You've got a standing bird dog. We had a brunch. So, lots to, lot to think about. Standing on the inside leg, inside hand on your chair. Back is nice and flat here. Arm and leg on the side, outside of your chair. Crunch, kick. Keep your hips nice and square. Don't lift this hip, okay? Here we go. Pull the abs tight, squeeze the boots. Standing leg has a slight bend. Think about weight in the heel on that standing leg. The crunch, good extension. Come on. In those glutes, in those abs, and a lot of other muscles assisting here. I hope you feel it. Standing leg is burning, right? Looks like muscles are working. Deep breath. When you're standing still like that, nice and and cold, those muscles are still working very hard. Ready? Setting this up. Get this square. Don't look it up. Punch. Extend. We have a tendency, I think, to overachieve. So we want to kick high. But when we do that, we take it out of the glute and we want to focus on that glute. So right here, you feel on that squeeze. When you lift your hip, you're not getting that nice squeeze. Chair, I'm going to a lightweight. Just I'm going to use both my lightweights. Okay? I'm going to hold them right here. I'm going to cross punch, come in, knee crunch. So, right arm, left leg. Ready? Right arm, left knee. 
right, left. Abs are tight. Hold is tight. Here, pull them. Abs. Pull them tight. Lots of more abs in this circuit. You're welcome. It's probably the number one area for women. There's a close second, for sure. I used to often let women join my gyms and grab their lower belly. So what do I do about this? Well, number one, abs are made in the kitchen, okay? You've got to eat good food. Secondly, you need to work them. And this is a lower ab crunch, so it's working that lower part of your ab. Are you ready? Here we go. Left arm, right knee. Punch it, crunch it. Stay with me, come on, we are almost done. We have a cardio blast. 30 seconds, cardio blast 20, and then we stretch. Yay you. Yay me. <laughs> so it's hard for me too. A lot of people think it isn't. Yeah, it is. Hard, hard. I'm not in any other way. I want my time, my effort, to be valuable. I get a lot of bang for my buck. Okay, weight is down for the last time, and we are gonna punch and kick you just got to straighten and stretch out the back of that leg. Punch with your right hand first. Get your breath. Here we go. Abs are tight. You don't work. You're involved. No extension of this arm. Feel the back. Feel the stretch in the back there. Back of the leg is stretching with this kick. It's a nice finisher here for our cardio. Good at kicking, kick a little higher, whatever you can do to bring up your intensity. I'm gonna just power through it, a little speed behind it again, okay? Right arm first, here we go. Punch, punch. Deep breaths, come on, push it. You have less than 20 seconds left in this workout. Give me all you've got. This, three, two, one and done. Okay. Good. Okay. Hard, right? Yeah. I agree. Okay, let's reach up and over. Stretching that waistline area. We'll stay on this side for the stretch. Pat yourself on the back. Same arm. Grab your elbow. Feel the back of the arm, the tricep. That's area number two, by the way. And this arm comes in front. Roll we'll up your shoulders. Feel a stretch in the back of the shoulders into the upper back. <sighs> Take your breath. We do the upper. We're doing the upper body stretch first because when you do the lower body stretch, your head might go below your heart. So you want to give the heart time to recover. Heart rate recovery is something that we can use. Pat yourself on the back. This elbow as a measure of cardio fitness. As your heart gets stronger and stronger, it recovers quicker. So you can actually watch that if you have any kind of watch that tracks your heart rate. Bring this across the bottom of the video, in the comment area, not the comment, the description area. I will give you the formula to figure out your heart rate range. Let's cross the hands forward. So that you can figure out exactly where your heart rate should be for a cardio burn, calorie burn. It's 220, last here, round the shoulders back, 220 minus your age times 0.65, and same 220 minus your age times 0.85. So with that, let's step back and bring up this toe, flat back, head is up. So with that, you get a range of 65 to 80 percent, 85 percent of max. So, if you get behind, above 85%, it becomes real difficult to talk. 
that's when your body would go to <laughs> some stored energy, other side here, and not be using oxygen, and not be burning fat. So we want to stay in that range to burn the most fat with our workout. And up, right, so this side, so lean in and stretch, and then thigh, weight in the heels, drive the hips back, and the back is flat here. Side and into it. All right, I have two options for you. One stretch in front of the leg. Either with the hip flexor, the knee forward, feel that leg stretch. You can walk in a little more deeply into the muscle. You can grab your foot. I know this is impossible for everybody, but if you can, grab your foot, stretch in the front of the leg. Like the, like the workout, you'd like to try it again, subscribe to the channel. You hit the subscribe button down in the corner and you just become a part of our community. There's no cost to do that and I would love to have you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.